Morning pipe smokers. How's it going? It's been a while since I've done a video from my truck. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done any kind of uh, pipe related or pipe tobacco related video. I uh, just got to a pickup here, picking up shoes. <laughs> Seems like I'm always picking up shoes whenever I do a video. Probably because I usually have a lot of time to wait while they load. A lot of times the, sh the loads are loaded by hand. So, <clears throat> anyways, man, it's uh, supposed to be like 90 here in SoCal today, and I think like 93 tomorrow. It's going to be a hot weekend, and I think it's going to go back down to the 80s next week. I say it's too early for summer. I'm not a big fan of summer. I hate, well, probably because I live in a hot part of the United States, Southern California. But I prefer uh, fall, winter, spring temperatures. Give me 60s and 70s. Yeah. I am uh, smoking my Arganese Argento Billiard. It's a nice pipe. I was reading the Bible right now. Uh, I'm in the book of Isaiah. Right now I'm smoking... Uh, uh, smoking um, Paladin. Black Cherry. When I did a review of this um, a few years ago, two, three years ago, I didn't care for it. Now um, I kind of like it. Um, it's really kind of the only cherry I like. I'm not a big fan of cherry pipe tobacco. A lot of times the cherry is too overwhelming on um, these pipe tobaccos. You know, they taste like cough me <laughs> cherry cough medicine, um, like uh, Captain Black Cherry. Oh, I can't stand that stuff. But this stuff's pretty good. It's really light. The cherry isn't overpowering. Um, and it's inexpensive, too. It's like less than four bucks a pouch, I believe. But um, in this video, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite pipe tobaccos. You know, everybody loves lists, right? Everybody loves... Hey, what's your favorites? You know, what, what do you like? What do you not like? I just dropped one. Excuse me for a second. Okay. So anyways, uh, so in the cherry category, Paladin's pretty good stuff. Um, it says it's an aromatic blend of flu cured and burly tobaccos. Uh, it's pretty good. Won't break the bank. Um, and this, you know, people talk about beverage pairings with pipe tobaccos. This one's pretty good with a soda like Coke, Pepsi. Dr. Pepper, any kind of a sweet dark soda is pretty good with. I guess you could go with Sprite and Mountain Dew too, but pretty good stuff. And when I talk too much, my pipe goes out. Hey, Adam, if you're watching, I'm still using that tamper you sent me a few years ago. Keep it in my truck. All right. Uh... Some other ones that I like. You know, I've noticed is real quick is a lot of the pipe tobaccos I like come in pouches. Um, yeah, I like t tin tin pipe tobaccos. Um, they're pretty good, but you know they're usually more expensive. But it seems like I my go to are in pouches. You know, I'll say my all time favorite for last. Um, another one that's pretty good. I can't remember um, what my review was like on it. I think my review was pretty positive. It's half and half. Half and half, I probably smoke the least. Well, next to that palate and cherry. Um, half and half is good with coffee. I like it with coffee. It's a good uh, morning tobacco with some coffee. So uh, that's my second one. Maybe I should do favorite pouch tobaccos and favorite tin tobaccos. But... All right, third one is an all time, an oldie but a goodie Carter Hall. Carter Hall is one of my, uh, one I usually smoke in the morning with coffee. Uh, it goes really good with coffee. Um, this stuff's pretty cheap. It's uh, three something a pouch. I mean, depending on where you get it. If I buy it like at Rite Aid, it's like five something, I think, now. 
But um, it's pretty cool. And I like how it comes in the uh, the old school kind of pouch. Small one. All right, that's that one. What do I do with the oh, put a little clip on it? Keep it fresh. And last but not least, my all-time favorite. I guess you could say all-time favorite pouch tobacco and all-time favorite type of tobacco is Cabinet Black Dark, or you could say uh, Black Cavendish. All-time favorite tobacco, man. This stuff just smells awesome. It tastes awesome. It stays lit, too. It stays lit better than most pipe tobaccos. Man, love that aroma. Um, I believe I have reviewed this. I reviewed a lot of uh, Captain Black tobaccos. But yeah, um, I could smoke Black Cavendish straight, man, any time of day. <laughs> it's some good stuff, man. And I usually like uh, tobaccos that have... All right, get off me. There's a fly on me. Uh, I usually like uh, aromatics, any aromatics that have Black Cavendish in them. Um, but Black Cavendish straight up is awesome. If you've never had Black Cavendish straight up, try it. Um, Cabinet Black Dark, Lane BCA. Um, there's some uh, Sutliff private stock ones that I've reviewed before, like Black Swan. And um, I think there's one called Noir, N-O-I-R. Uh, those are pretty good. And those are all, these are all straight up Black Cavendish blends, but some good stuff, man. Good stuff. I hope everybody's doing good out there in uh, the YouTube pipe community. I'm glad I can do another video. Um, as you know, I've been doing the updates on my model railroad. I haven't worked on it lately. Um, using my Zippo pipe lighter. Had this one for a while since I started. I've been smoking a pipe for over four years now. And uh, just keeps getting better. It's amazing how many blends there are. I mean, as you know, I've re probably reviewed a hundred different pipe tobaccos, but I've kind of come down to those four that I showed you, some tin ones. Um, so, thinking some Dr. Pepper, my big gulp, 7 Eleven cup. Goes good with this Paladin. Has a nice retro hail through the nose. But anyways, not a whole lot's new. Um, I did get a uh, CB for my truck. Break a breaker, one nine. <laughs> Talk to other truckers. Um, seems like a lot of truck drivers don't have CBs anymore um, especially when I want to <laughs> yell at a trucker for doing something dumb or whatever you talk into the CB you get no response a lot of them don't have CBs and there's also a lot of crap on the CBs a lot of a lot of cussing and talking about nonsense and stuff and uh, I think in this one area I drive there's some people or this at least one guy that has a CB in his house Cause I don't think he's a trucker. But, um, so, anyways, uh, good to see you. Uh, see you all. I can't see you. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Um, those are some of my favorite tobaccos. Uh, leave some comments below of your favorites if you agree with any of the ones that I mentioned. So, anyways, uh, God bless all of you and uh, take care out there. And I'll see you later. Bye.